Hello writers, come write with me. My name is Bekella Greenwood. I create worlds for mind adventures. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Write with Bekella. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can go on this journey with me. Today is Tuesday and we are going to look at intuition. I'm sure we've heard the term or we've heard gut feeling, but what does it actually mean? Intuition is the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning or it is a thing that one knows or considers likely from instinctive feeling rather than conscious reasoning. Basically, intuition is the ability to acquire knowledge without recourse to conscious reasoning or needing an explanation. It is the power or faculty of attaining direct knowledge or cognition without evident rational thought or inference. So conscious reasoning is where you know something and you're connecting dot one to two, two to three, that kind of thing, and you're following a logical process of thought. Whereas intuition is just like instant knowledge. You just know it. You've not necessarily connected the dots to get there. Now, let's break this down into simple English. This is when, or intuition is when you walk into a room and know what the conversation was about without hearing anything said. This is starting to get on an elevator, but then suddenly no, you know you shouldn't. Or you're in a restaurant and you get a creepy feeling. So you turn and look and a, strange, a stranger is staring you down. We, we all have intuition. We all get these vibes. Sometimes it is something good. Sometimes it is not. Society teaches us to ignore these things. But today we're going to write about a time when we had an intuitive moment. Say you decided not to ride that elevator with a coworker and you threw out some excuse like you forgot your lipstick in the car. And later you find out that that person you chose not to share an elevator with, uh, share an elevator ride with, assaulted another coworker on a different day. In your writing exercise today, I want us to write the feeling or message that we felt. And then I want us to write how we confirmed our intuition was right. Just write a paragraph or a page for this. You will want to set things up. So you will start before you had the gut feeling or the vibe. Then you will write how you followed or didn't follow it. Maybe... Maybe you were too embarrassed to say you didn't want to ride the elevator with the coworker and you couldn't throw out some excuse. So you rode and you were the one assaulted. So that would be not following your gut or using your in intuition. Third, how you confirmed your intuition was correct. Let me repeat our writing assignment. Set up your scene. What was your intuition telling you? Did you follow your intuition? And four, how was your intuition confirmed as being correct? That's your assignment. So pause the video and write and then come back and I'll read what I wrote. Welcome back writers. I hope you were able to choose which event to write about here is mine. I was a high school math teacher and the administration would often call a group of teachers to, to a special meeting. But usually it was all the math teachers or all the science teachers or the English teachers or the coaches, etc. That way the meeting would be during our conference period. This day was different. They sent an email of the meeting in the morning for the same day instead of the next day or sometime during the week. I had to wait for someone from the office to watch over my class and then I headed to the meeting. I noticed the different teachers were going. I was math, I saw a history teacher, I saw a science teacher and an art teacher. 
We actually went to a room we didn't normally use for such meetings. Upon entering the room, I instantly knew that someone had died and my heart exploded. I felt my breathing constrict because I knew that was what they were going to tell us. I had no clue who. The administrators started the meeting very solemnly and there were counselors in the room as well. Then with deep sadness, the administrator told us that our student had committed suicide and they told us who. This news just blew my mind. The administrator stressed that none of us could blame ourselves and they asked if we wanted to speak with a counselor. A counselor also accompanied us to our classes according to the student's schedule and the counselor told the classmates and the counselors were ready to schedule anyone to come in and speak with them. None of the teachers or students that I spoke with had any clue the student was suicidal. This, this student actually missed a lot of school and he was in danger of failing just because of attendance. When he did come to school, he would come to tutoring and I would catch him up on what he missed because he was really smart. He, he'd missed a couple weeks and I could catch him up in a couple hours. He was really smart. It, it was just awful awful to think that he hung himself using a belt. He had such great potential. I don't remember what the other details were. They were kind of sparse, but I think it was with the belt and I think he had divorced parents. So those are the only details that I remember about this. Now for me, I would have rather have had the intuition during our tutoring sessions to stop his suicide than to walk in a room and know there had been a death. Of course, I don't know when he made this decision. I don't know if he planned it or if it was just an instant decision and an act. So maybe it wasn't there when I was tutoring for me to, to get a sense or vibe. Um, I don't know. I have I have intuitive moments, but this one was very stark and this one didn't prevent the danger. Okay, writers, I'm sure some of you, for some of you, that was intense. I didn't really follow my instincts in this case other than knowing what they were going to say. The intuition prepared me for the bad news. Some of you probably followed your intuition and some of you probably wished you had. Leave a comment below on if you followed your intuition or not. Other than having a writing prompt today, how does this help us? Well, as writers, our protagonists can have intuition or instinct. This little knowing can help him or her get a step ahead of the antagonist. This knowing within yourself or within your character self can be a full body feeling. It can be a flash of a picture or simply a thought. This is, this is not just fear. We talked about the elevator above. If you already knew the one coworker assaulted the other, then that would be fear based on knowledge. That would be the conscious reasoning thing uh, rather than knowing by just seeing the person or being near the person. So there's, there's the two differences. If you talk to the one coworker who was assaulted and you knew about it, then that's conscious reasoning. But if you just, all of a sudden you saw this person and you just had this feeling and you didn't know anything and, and you just like, okay, I gotta go get my lipstick because uh, I can't get on this elevator and I don't want to be rude, then that's the intuition. So, um, intuition is knowing without conscious reasoning. Now, surely you can argue that I had clues 
that the meeting at school wasn't going to give the normal information because it was select teachers of all subjects. And the meeting room was different. And there were counselors there. And the timing was almost immediate. But I know nothing about those details told me someone found the student dead that morning. I just walked in the door and knew someone had died. It was like instant knowledge. Now, many of you have been through City of the Ancients with me and know that Kirsha felt when Mayorti was near or heading towards her, but the story didn't describe that as intuition. That was because Mayorti tried to inhabit Kirsha so that gave them a connection. Of course, part of intuition in real life is a connection between people, especially family or close friends. This is when you think a friend's name and then suddenly out of the blue, they call you. That is intuition. Kirsha's knowledge was from something else. As writers, you can decide how much intuition your characters have and you can decide if they follow their intuition or not. Sometimes this will be really good near or during the climax when suddenly your main character just knows something and acts on that knowledge. If you have magic in your story, then your character's magic can enhance his or her intuition. There's a lot more to the extrasensory perception than just intuition, but this is a start or a brief dip in the pool. Idiom alert. The definition of extra, extrasensory perception or ESP or the sixth sense, whichever one you want to call it, is a claimed paranormal ability pertaining to the reception of information not gained through the recognized physical senses, but through the mind. That sounds a lot like the definition of intuition. We are not gaining information by seeing through reading or hearing. We just somehow know. When you're writing a scene or a story, you can add as much intuition or ESP as you like. Play around with it. Have fun. Try to notice things in your life, especially once you confirm your intuition is correct. I mean, in that scene above, there wasn't much time between when I felt it and I heard it. So my in intuition was confirmed right away. Sometimes, like, if you don't ride that elevator, it may be years before. You may, the person may get fired and you may not know that they were fired. They just, everybody said, oh, he left. But then a couple years later, you may be talking and it may come out. So um, when you confirm your intuition, your, your thoughts and, and stuff, you, you try to remember exactly how you felt that when you received the intuitive thought or feeling. If you remember how you felt when you received the thoughts or feelings, then it will be easier to add to your stories. And Tahia. We've already read that Tahia felt like the air was stifling. And then she peeked out the window and saw armored soldiers. She knew something was happening before she went to the window. This intuition of a character can help you build up tension in your story. Or a flash of a picture in a character's mind can be foreshadowing. Uh, Tahia had the flash of a picture of the dogs, the soldiers with the dogs, after she was in the woods with that group of people. Like I said, have fun with it. This is your story that you're writing and creating. So don't hold anything back. Even if society disclaims such things or discourages such things, intuition and ESP are exciting phenomenon to many readers. So just, just put it all in there, build it to the max that you want to do. It, it doesn't have to be proven scientifically. This is fantasy. This is our creation. So just have fun. Join me Friday for Chapter 6 of Tahia, Desperate Situations. Join me Tuesday for Writing Prompt. 
we will be adding to our description of our scary cave or our peaceful one if that is your choice so you might want to find it before next tuesday the original writing prompt for the two caves was episode 25 season one and so find your your writing prompt and we'll we'll be adding to it i appreciate you giving me suggestions of what i should cover even if we have covered it before and you want a deeper dive then please let me know in between days visit my website www.bymckella.com or just bymckella.com you don't need the www and you can type it in the url T type that in the url box at the top of the internet page and not necessarily the google search bar um, you can visit my website and read some character bios if you hit like and subscribe and the bell notification then we will continue to write together thank you for joining me today i really appreciate your participation if you know someone who would like this video then please share it with them this is mckella with write with mckella bye for now